Hey everyone, so today we're gonna see some really cool component property stuff. The ones that are uh, already existing in Figma and the ones that are in beta right now. I'll show you how to enable those and a quick overview on what they are. Um, I'll go more in depth into how to use them a little bit later on another video, but I'm gonna show you how to use component properties today smartly. For example, you see this title here? This is an instance of the this component right here. If I disable the title, the, the field to edit the title will disappear. And it's right under it. The same thing with the description. It only shows if it's enabled. If it's not, it keeps the panel really clean. Same thing with the slot component. Slot component's also another uh, more advanced uh, property. But basically this is all using the Boolean, which is like these little buttons right here. The instance swap, which is this one right here and um yeah so like you you can swap specific instances that you, you select and then text properties is what shows over here um basically you set a, a text as a editable content and then you can add it from the right panel instead of having to edit from here for example you, you notice that this doesn't show over there um, because i didn't set that to show so now with the beta stuff uh, one thing that's really cool is that if i and this instance swap property here. Now I get this preferred values that I can set and I can go that, um, I can go to my slot stuff here. This is all, I'm gonna dive deeper into this in another video, but uh, basically I can select preferred components that I want or preferred instances that I want swap, to, swap it with, which I will just select these three. Uh, if you remember actually, um, if you remember, Actually, really quickly, I'm gonna remove this from here. When you open this, it's not, it's just showing close button, don't show this message again, which is like this component over here. It's not really like catered to what what I want here. And with the, with the beta thing, with the beta option of um, preferred instances, I can basically now say that I, I wanna swap that slot only with these three, um, not only, but at least these are my preferred ones. So now when I close it and I go here and I open this, it shows me preferred over here and then audio form, new user, and then I can basically swap this to all the things that I need. And I'm gonna get into this uh, slot, com uh, slot component um, uh, technique later in another video as well, because it's a little bit more advanced. Uh, but yeah, this is really cool. The other thing is that I can surface, for example, this component here it has this property of being checked or not. You cannot see that here unless you go all the way inside. So I can actually now with the exposed props from nested in instances, I can expose the prop property of checked to the top level. So for example, if I go here and I go under property, and expose properties from nested instances. And I can go and say from this, don't show this message again. Um, and now if I am here, now it shows the properties from don't show this message again, which is a component that I have on another page. But now from this level here, I can already check that message and, and hide it, which is really awesome. And then lastly, the uh, simplify all instances it basically, for example, here I have some, I added this thing that says uh, extra fluff here. Uh, and then if you're on this component, you can see that the layer panel here shows a lot, shows the footer, the extra stuff here. Um, but if I go to the main component and select um, over here where it says the name of the component and it says simplify inst all instances. Now, when I open this, when I select this, instance of that component it only shows me the 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 stuff inside that component that has some properties of fill or uh or some more significant properties and it kind of hides all the noise which is like now i can also click and then to show the rest of the stuff but it's really cool because um i can i can see that it, it looks much cleaner over here like if this is like for a design system thing the designers will see a much cleaner uh, file and same thing here, you know, when um, you're hiding the stuff, it's, it's really cool how that well, how that works. All right, so let's get in, uh, into how, um, and by the way, those three things, I said it's on the beta, uh, beta one. 
and how you can activate it, it's by going to your settings over here and then selecting, uh, checking this box over here, component properties, uh, and then you can also learn more about those. Uh, all right, let's get into how we would build that. Uh, let's do, let's start with this component over here. Uh, if you're not already familiar with the auto layout allowing you to do absolute positioning, this is a really awesome feature and I'm using some shortcuts here, which is option W and D. You can do kind of like when you game, which is like A, W, S, D on your keyboard. If you hold option, that kind of helps you positioning like W go top, A go left, S go down, and D goes to the right. So now it's all the way to the top right corner. I'm gonna hit shift left and down once. So it has eight both on top and right. If your values, when you hold shift and press the arrow keys is 10, you can actually change that by going command slash and then typing in nudge amount and changing this to eight. Uh, by default, I believe it's 10. Um, all right, so we have just a simple auto layout here with the title, filling this, actually, I'll set that to fill the space. We have a description to also fill the space. So the reason is that, so once I add more stuff, it grows uh, downwards. And then the footer, which is just this um, auto layout that has this done show this message on the left side and then some actions on the right. I'm not gonna get too much into how I built this because that's not the purpose of this video. But if you have any questions, let me know and I can um, explain a little bit further. Um, all right, so I'm gonna now, uh, actually let me just add the slot component here just to, so I can show you how to, the swap uh, instance property works. All right, so now I'm gonna, I have all the contents here that I need. I'm just gonna focus on this right now. And here I'm gonna start uh, adding the properties. Actually, I'm gonna make this a component first, command by hitting command option K. All right, so now let's start with the close, close button. And then when you go here for the layers, um, the layer properties here, you can you will see this little icon if you're inside the main component, which says create Boolean property. And then here, I will just say um, if this modal is closable, the question mark, and then by default, the value is true, which is always gonna show this. Um, if I set it false, it's gonna hide the, the icon. I'm gonna leave it true because most of the times I'm gonna have the X, but maybe some er sometimes I won't have it in the modal. And then I'm gonna actually make a an instance of this. So if it was if it was false, it would hide from this instance. And then we can see it here that we can hide and show. All right. So now for the title, the title we wanna add two properties. So we're gonna add the the create text property, which this is gonna allow us to edit the edit the text of that. Um, so let's just call it title. And so now when you go here, you see that this is the title, we can change it there. Um, all right, and then, but you can see that we don't have the Boolean that I showed earlier in the demo. Now we have to do the same thing we did for the, for the close button. Go where it says layer here hit the create property and I'm gonna say title with a question mark meaning like does it have a title yes or no and then it's also true because most of the times I'm gonna have a title uh, so now you see that it has a boolean there the only thing is that the title here is like now above the boolean which is controlling if it shows or not which is kind of kind of confusing so I'm gonna actually go back to the main component and move that one uh, below the Boolean one. So now if I go here, you can see that it's under and, uh, and that's the title where you added it. And another thing that I add, which is a little the extra mile, but I like to add this arrow 
that creates the illusion um, uh, and you hit by on Mac you hit command control spacebar and you get this little thing I'll just type arrow here and add this arrow I like to add this because in a space and it creates the illusion that it's indented under that and it helps me see which ones are the children uh, and I, I like how that looks better we're gonna do the same thing here um, I'm gonna say description and then add a layer panel. I'm gonna go a little bit faster here. Same description with the question mark. And again, I forgot to add the, the arrow here. And then I'm gonna move that under just like we did with the title. Um, and I'm gonna do the same thing for the uh, slot component. I'm gonna say, does this have a slot basically with the question mark? And then also here, now I wanna add a instance property, uh, instance swap property, sorry. I'm gonna call it a slot content. And then here is where, um, so this would not show if we don't have the beta available, but this is where we add the preferred values. Um, so, I know that they're under this other page, which is called slot. And I have these three components there. So that's what is gonna show the preferred, like that I showed in the demo. I'm gonna create that. So now when I select this main component, just the, the top level layer, it shows me the slot here and then slot content and the three preferred things that I just selected. I can turn that off. Uh, I actually will say that that's off by default. I don't always have the slot and I'm gonna say false. So it's gonna hide. If I um, reset everything here, it's gonna hide it. And then I can just turn it on. And I'm gonna do the same thing I did for everything else. Um, I don't know why the description here lost the arrow. I'm just gonna copy the arrow from here, from the title. I'll type it there and type it here. So they all have the, all the children have that. So if I hide, it shows that. Uh, all right, so now I can show you, now actually I'm getting a little bit into the beta thing. I can show you how you would expose this component, um, which is this one right here. Uh, I called it don't show again message. Um, don't show, yeah, so basically it's just saying that you don't wanna see that again. And this thing again, it has that, um, another Boolean property here that's just say, or variant that says um, checked, no, and then this one says checked, yes. And this creates this um, Boolean uh, checkbox that, there's too many Booleans. <laughs> So this creates the checkbox um, on the instance if it's checked or not. You can also say true or false here. So if you go here, if you say false, which is what the, the languages more developers use, it's gonna do the same thing, true or false here. Um, all right, so how we expose that is basically by selecting this component and going into the properties as we're gonna add one and then expose properties from nested instances. And then the instance that is nested is this one. And that's the one that we wanna expose the properties from. The property only has one property, so we're gonna do that. Um, and then just close it and now we have it there pretty easily. And we can check and uncheck that from the top level of this thing without having to get into like, you know, clicking a lot to get to these components. And then lastly, to hide, you know, these extra fluff that I was talking about earlier, we select the main component again. And um, you go into the top layer where it says modal here, or it would say the, the name of your component and these uh, settings uh, icon, and it will show over here if you have the beta toggled on, it will show the simplify all instances. So when you go back to this thing, it will hide anything else that is more like, that's not really like 
really important stuff that you haven't like edited a lot or added properties to. Um, and it will have this see all layers uh, option. But yeah, I hope this was helpful. Uh, I know the video is long and maybe I ran a bit too fast on some of these stuff, but uh, if you have any questions, please leave the comments um, down below. Please like this video if it was helpful to you and consider subscribing to the channel. It means the world to me. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.